Hello beautiful Pisces! Welcome back to your reading for the week of the 18th to the 24th. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start using some spooky decks here, uh, so don't be too scared. <laughs> uh, this deck, I forget the name of it, but uh, some people really don't like it. It's really kind of gory in some spots, but I really do love it. So, and I don't use it as much as I would like to, so I decided I'm going to bring all of these out. It's now or never Pisces. There's like two weeks left to October, so I really want to celebrate Sewain. Sewain? Sewain? Is that what they call it? Sewain? A new start is coming with a new moon. Full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. So, definitely the whole month, to tell you the truth, has been going this way. Like I said, we're in reintroducing ourselves and other people into our lives. And it's like a debutante party is what I want to say. It's like we're being introduced to the world with our new energies and everything that we have worked on in the past little while, especially in the slow up and the lockdown. We have done a lot of work. So there's a new start coming to this. There's a new way of doing things. And I really like that, okay? We're looking at the bigger picture. Where do we want to go? Where do we see ourselves in 10 years? We're not getting stuck in that energy, but we're very much looking at uh, things in a longer term. Um, they're showing me my current journey of just uh, when we decided to pay off all our debt, all our bills, and then now we're paying off our home uh, so that we have freedom of choice. It's uh, We don't live in, in the constancy of always thinking about it, but we have a really uh, good plan in front of us to get to where we want to go so that we can live with minimum you know, funds and just kind of enjoy the rest of our days without worrying of being trapped inside of that circle of debt. Okay, so this is your, your, you're going towards that. And I like the conclusions are within reach. It's kind of really telling you, Pisces, that, well, you know, as the month progresses, you are getting to the point where you you're going to know what's going on. You're going to you're going to start feeling uh that you're reaching uh, well, I guess it you know it says conclusions, but I feel more like reaching an understanding of how the energies are going to work inside of your uh, energetic field now. In other words, all these people that you're reintroducing, you're going to say, okay, now I've decided that these people are good, that I'm going to, you know, like I'm, we're moving forward with this energy and those energies I let go. So you get a better, clearer picture of where you're going. And I feel that's what this is. So if you've been feeling a little bit out of it, out of the energy, um, you're going to feel back into it. Okay, if this was very foreign to you, because when we work on certain things within ourselves, we only have ourselves to contend with. Reintroducing other energies sometimes can throw things in upheaval. So you're feeling it's an ebb and flow, okay? And I feel that this is like you are figuring out where this is going, which is good. So you have the Page of Cups, right? Uh, this is you, okay, your Page of Cups, how, what surrounds you right now, you and what surrounds you, and the Page of Cups for me is always that young dreamer, that ultimate Piscean energy. So this is telling me that you are going back into your energy, okay, of yourself. If you've been feeling a little off kilter, this week you're going to start feeling just a little bit better and maybe like having a better idea of where you're going and where this is leading to, which is excellent because that's that that means you're that means you're going in the right direction, right, Pisces? Right. So what is blocking you this week? Let's see here. The Seven of Swords, right. What's been blocking you is just a remnants of bad energies, okay? Yeah, swallowing a sword is not a good idea. Let's just not do that, okay? So uh, 
this feeling of being undermined because what happens is when you introduce energies they're telling me is you cannot control how people are acting you can control you you can control how you react to things but you cannot control external forces so when you add it to the mix it makes you feel a little bit uh, you know it takes your footing away so again sometime this week what might be blocking you is that these energies are going to make you feel a little bit out of your own energy so you've got to you've got to try and get it back in there all the time okay all right so in your recent past we have two a lot of strength and a lot of perseverance. So this doesn't surprise me, especially that we're reintroducing these energies. You've been trying to get these stuff to your, your ducks in a row. That's what I feel. I feel like you've been trying to put ducks in a row, but you're dealing with external energies, like I said. So it's been, uh, it has been a little bit like a strength battle. I, I love this card because it's showing like, you know, there is physical force here unlike the regular tarot cards it feels like you've been fighting with it right it won't stay there it's kind of just bah, it's doing what it wants it's like you're trying to veer it's it's like walking a dog who doesn't want to be walked you ever had that before they're kind of dragging you or they're running off or yanking your arm off this is this energy that I feel for some people I feel that you've been trying so hard to get things going a certain way and then it just feels like everything's going a little bit yeah it's tugging at you so uh it's gonna feel a little better this was from before so we're gonna look at what the energies are gonna look like oh my god these cards just went look at that <laughs> these cards just went flying in my direction interesting okay let's see here Okay, so you have the Three of Swords. Okay, so you're going to see the truth to move on. In other words, you're going to see the truth of either staying in a situation and fighting to make it work, or you're going to see the truth of it and go, no, there's nothing here for me to fix. It's not for me to fix it. This is what I'm getting from this. Not for you to fix it. It's for you to just like walk away. So certain situations you're going to realize, that's what I say, you're going to feel more like inside of your own space. Things are going to become even clearer. Okay, do I fight for this? Yes, this is good to fight for. Do I fight for this? No, this this doesn't need to be fought for. I can release this energy, okay? So this can be releasing of people's attitude, people who are, you know, just making you feel or you're feeling awful about it. It's okay to release that kind of energy. So just, you know, just let it go. Just let it go, Pisces. Okay, so what's at your crown, Pisces? King of Pentacles, your ability to really grow in the situations, okay? Be a master of growth. And this is like for me the adaptability card times 20. In other words, this is the Two of Pentacles. You've adjusted, you've juggled, you've done everything that you needed. So at your crown is for you to understand completely the situation and understanding that you don't need to beat yourself up for what works and what doesn't. I think that's really important right now, okay? And you have to come to that conclusion. So let's have your foundation, Pisces. I do believe this is the, the 13, it's the death card, isn't it? Let me see, it is. Transformation, okay? The fact is, is that it's kind of a brutal transformation card. It looks like one is, is trying to step on the other, okay? Like, really squishing somebody out of the situation. I feel like for some of you, this is what's been going on with uh, people who have been non what's the word <laughs> uh, 
who are just not on the same page as you are. Okay, let's call it that. It's been a constant headbutt. I feel like you've just been headbutting with people. And it's a it's a thing of reverting back to something that you're used to. Trying to make a square peg fit into a round hole and it's just not working. You're going to come to the conclusion though this week that this is what you're doing and that there's just you're going to cancel out the fact of feeling responsible for people's transformations. This is what is coming through. You're going to say people are responsible for their own transformations. They're either going to sink or swim and they're going to either crush the idea or not and there's nothing I can do. You're going to move away from that. If they follow, good. If they don't, you're going to be, you're going to resign yourself to being okay with that. You're going to go, I'm okay with that. Uh, I can point the direction, but only they can walk in that direction. Only they can, they can follow through. There's nothing you can do for them. Okay? And that's good. So this is what I feel the conclusion is within Rich. you getting to the point where you're understanding this, this is the way it is, okay? And I don't need to feel responsible for every single person in the world. I just need to take care of myself. Help the people who help themselves and that's it. So you have the Five of Swords here as uh, how, <laughs> how to present yourself. So... You win some, you lose some. This is what I'm getting from this card with the Five of Swords. You win some, you lose some. And you're going to present yourself as being okay with that. With the conflict that you cannot resolve. I'm okay with it. I release it. Okay? I'm releasing it. If you want my help, I'm here. But if you don't, I'm okay. Even if it's causing you pain and grief and, and there's, you know, I, I really want to help, but you don't want my help, that's okay. Okay? You're going to present going, some days I'm the bug and some days I'm the windshield. Okay? So that's okay. You're okay with that. And I think that's good. That's good because even with all the great work you do, you can accept, I, I'm not going to say defeat because that's not the right word. You can accept that there are certain things that are, they are the way they are. That's just the way it is right now, Pisces. So, okay. Um, how others see you. How do others see Pisces this week? Sorry, I like this card. The Ten of Swords. Okay, so you're trying to get yourself at the end <laughs> of this stressful situation. I don't mean to be laughing. It's kind of a... <laughs> it's quite the image. But have you ever... <laughs> between a rock and a hard place? This is definitely this card, okay? This is the card of... Well, am I stuck and I'm, I'm, uh, how the heck am I going to get myself out of here? So others may see you. Uh, the 10 originally for me is the end of a stressful situation. So they're going to see the end of this, the end of this, <laughs> this, uh, this rigmarole. And that's not a word I use this rigmarole of things that happen over and over again that, you're just feeling like I'm just getting stuck. The more the more I'm here, the more I'm stuck. So you're going to liberate yourself from that. That's how they're going to see you. They're going to see you as going, that's it. I'm done. Okay. Get this thing out of me. I'm out of here. So, yeah. End of a stressful situation. Um, which is good. You really don't want the Ten of Swords. Absolutely not. So what's your hopes and fears for this week? When I remember the month is you were doing a lot of parenting. So this is, this for me feels like the bigger picture of just being the bigger person. Okay. Like the parent going, okay, enough. You're having to fit, have the fit. I'm out of here. I'm done. Okay. So I feel very much, and this is, I do believe this is the lover's card. Is it? Oh no, this is four. What is this? I think this is the four of wands. It looks like the Four of Wands. Uh, so, 
you're going to celebrate this moment in time, and that makes sense, where you're going to go, this works, okay? I've achieved a certain amount, a, a level of success. Um, I'm seeing where I've been, and I'm looking towards where I want to go. So in other words, it's not rehashing the thing over and over again. You're celebrating the wins and you're moving ahead towards more wins. You're not going to get stuck in this energy of Seven of Swords. So I like that. You're hoping to do that, okay? Because it's hopes and fears. So you're hoping to do that, fearing you may not. But to me, it's always a moment of pondering, okay? That that card, that position is always like, okay, what do I want? You know, what what's going on here? All right. So your conclusion for the week. <laughs> Conquering the hill, the seven of the seven of wands. So you're gonna make it to the to the to the top of the hill. You're gonna be king of the hill, okay? Through adversity, you're gonna persevere you're going to make it. I do have to tell you, I feel a little bit of push and pull this week in this. I feel like you are still trying your best to do something with the situation or make it fit or make it work the, to the best of your ability. But I'm feeling that Pisces, you're just, there's some things that you're just not going to be able to change. You're going to have to concede Okay, this this five of swords. You win some, you lose some. Sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. There's nothing you can do. Just be zen with it. Be okay with it. You can't force the issue. People have to be who they are, and they've got to follow their own paths. Okay, absolutely. So this is your chance for a new start. Looking at the big picture is definitely the Four of Swords and then moving on with the three. You're moving on from this. You're looking at the bigger picture and conclusions are within reach. So you're getting to the end. I love this story. It's coming. You're looking at the big picture and conclusion, conclusions are within reach. So you're going you're gonna to have a full story this week. It's like, I'm still trying, I'm still trying. Okay, I realize that I, I can't do anything anymore. I concede, I'm okay with it, I'm going to release it, and then we're moving on to something better. So I feel that there's a very full image of a story this week going on with you and your energies. That it's going to, I mean, if you think about it in the... Uh, in the space of time and everything that you've learned so far, this is a really short amount of time for you to get the message. So you're getting quicker at receiving what needs to be done. You're understanding that things uh, are changing and need to change. Uh, and that um, you're doing it faster and faster every time. That's what I'm trying to say. Everything's coming to you in a faster way and you're moving you're moving that way uh, at, at faster speeds. That's, that's all I can that's all I keep getting. You're getting better at it. That's what I'm getting actually. So alright. One more and then we'll uh, do the extended later on, Pisces. These don't come out, right? Yeah, these don't come out. I have to. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to keep this one on the side because it's like, slow down. You can't please everyone. It's time to rise above. Dance. So I feel the dance card very much with the four here, the four of wands, which is usually a celebration card. So these are all really great. I'm going to keep these for the extended. I'm going to read in the extended the back of the cards for you because I feel that this is trying again to tell you a story about what's coming and, and how it's coming in. 
so I'm going to save that for later, Pisces. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I invite you to do so. I post twice a day, 9.45 a.m., 9.45 p.m. My great supporters call these Jaina days. They can't live without their Jaina days. It really warms my heart when they say that. You know that I love it when you guys say that. Uh, so that's why I keep mentioning it. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings times three times four. You guys are awesome. You do such great work, and I think you are the best out there. Take care of yourself. I will see you later.